this is part 65 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss deleting multiple rows in an MVC application. We want to provide a checkbox control next to every row. This enables us to select multiple rows. Once we have multiple rows selected, and then once I click this button, we want to delete all the selected rows. We'll be using this table TBL employee for this demo. So the first step here is to add an ADU.NET entity data model based on this table. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a blank ASP.NET MVC4 application. The first step is to add ADU.NET entity data model. So let's right click on the models folder, add a new item, select data under install templates ADU.NET entity data model and let's name it sample data model. Click add. We want to generate our model from the database. Click next and let's name our connection string as sample db context. Click next. This is going to connect to the database and retrieve all the tables, views and stored procedures. Expand tables. Select table TBL employee and we want our models to live in models namespace. Click finish. This should generate an entity with name TBL employee. Let's rename that to employee. Save all the changes and let's build our solution so that this employee entity is compiled. The next step is to add a controller. So let's right click on the controllers folder, add controller and let's name it home controller and let's use this empty MVC controller as the template. Click add. This should add home controller. All right. Now within the sample data model that is generated for us, notice that we have got a context class and an entity class. The context class is actually called sample db context class and the entity is nothing but employee entity class that we have. Okay, now we want to use both of these classes within our home controller and notice that these classes are residing in this MVC demo.models namespace. So let's use that within our home controller. All right, now we need to pass list of employees to our index view. Basically, we want to display all the employees here. So we need to pass the list of employees and to retrieve that list of employees, we need to connect to the database. And to do that, we have the sample DB context class that is generated by ADU.NET entity data model. So let's create an instance of that. And this object has got this employees property, which is going to give us the list of employees. And we are going to pass that to this view. In a bit, we will create index view. Okay. Now, another function that we need here is the delete function. Look at this. When we select multiple employees and when we click this delete selected employees, we're going to delete those employees. So obviously we need an action method which is capable of deleting those employees from the database. So let's go ahead and add a delete method. So let's make a copy of this index action and let's call it a delete. Now, to delete employees, let's say I selected three employees here and then once I click delete selected employees, we need to pass their IDs to the delete action method and the ID of an employee is of type integer. So basically when we select multiple employees, we're going to pass list of the employee IDs. Okay. So we need a list of integers, basically I enumerable of integers. So let's go ahead and include that I enumerable of integers and let's name it employee IDs to delete. Okay. So how are we going to delete these employees? So DB dot employees, that's going to give us all the employees, but then out of them, let's apply a where clause. So X such that if this list employee IDs to delete, if this list contains the employee ID, then all such employees, no, let's convert them to another list. So all such employees loop through each one of them using this for each loop and then delete them. And how are we going to delete them? db.employees dot delete object. So basically what is this piece of code doing? 
you know it's checking if the ID that is present here you know does that ID match with the employees that we have in the database if true add them to a list all such employees and loop through each employee and then delete them that's what this code is doing and once that is done save the changes to the database so DB dot save changes and once we have deleted the employees what we need to do we need to redirect the user back to the index action so that we can um, you know view the rest of the employees after deletion okay and how do we redirect the user to the index action using redirect to action method and to which action we want to redirect index all right so this this is the implementation within uh, the controller the next step is to add this index view itself but before we do that to render this interface for each employee you know the checkbox control their name gender and email we need an editor template so let's go ahead and add an editor template for employee object now we discussed about display templates and editor templates in the previous sessions of this video series so please watch them if you're new to these concepts so let's flip to Visual Studio so editor templates and display templates um, you know they they can either reside in shared folder or in a specific views folder so let's actually add them to shared folder so first let's create a shared folder and then within shared let's add editor templates folder all right and then let's go ahead and add an editor template for employee object let's call it employee we're going to make use of Razor View Engine and we're going to create a strongly typed view against employee model class and let's select empty as the scaffold template click add so here the model for this view is the employee object now what is the responsibility of this editor template it's going to generate a checkbox control name gender and email and all of these need to be part of a table draw okay so we need to have a TR tag and within that TR we need four TDs so let's go ahead and include that HTML here so one TR there and then four TDs so let's make a copy of this okay and in the first TD what should we display a checkbox control so the first TD should display this checkbox and to display a checkbox we can use input type equals checkbox and then the name of this one I'm going to give it this name and there is a reason behind doing that so the name of this checkbox control is matching the name of the parameter that is coming into this delete action method okay that's because when we click this delete selected employees button okay we are going to post this form and then you know the ID that is associated with this checkbox control all the you know if I select multiple checkboxes then all the IDs that are associated with the uh, with each checkbox you know they will be automatically passed into this delete action method you know that's going to be done by the default model binder in ASP.NET MVC for us so that's the reason behind naming uh, you know the name of this checkbox control the same as this parameter and then another thing that we forgot to do here is now when we click this button delete selected employees we're actually posting the form you know we want to delete the selected employees as part of the post operation okay so we need to decorate that with HTTP post attribute so let's do that before we forget All right. So let's go back to this editor template. So the name is going to be employee IDs to delete. And similarly, ID is also going to be employee IDs to delete. And then the value is going to be employee ID. And how do I get access to employee ID? Look at this. The model for this view is employee object. And this employee object has got ID, name, gender, and email properties. So all we need to do is at model dot ID so that should give us a checkbox control okay and what are the next things that we need to display name gender and email and how am I going to get them at model dot name similarly 
at model dot gender and finally email alright so that's the editor template the next step is to actually add the index view itself so let's go back to the home controller right click on the index view add view the name of the view is going to be index we're going to make use of phrase view engine the model is going to be uh, employee and let's use empty as the scaffold template because we are going to write the required HTML click add so this should generate index view for us so the model here is actually um, you know just an employee object one employee object but what do we want on index view we want to display the list of employees so basically the model for this view is going to be I enumerable of employees all right now we need a form tag because once we click this delete selected employees we are going to post this data back to the server so we need a form tag and how do we generate form tag we can use begin form HTML helper and let's wrap that inside an using statement so that we'll have the closing tag automatically generated for us so let's use the using statement so at using HTML dot begin form So this is going to generate the you know opening and closing tag for, you know form tag for us. Now, when I post this form, when I click this delete selected employees, what should actually happen? We should post this form to delete action within the home controller. That's when the employees will be deleted. So we have to tell that to the form tag. So there is an overloaded version of this form tag where we can specify that look at that we can specify the action name the controller name and what is the form method is it a get or a post request okay so the action name is going to be delete and where is this action present within the home controller and how do you want to perform this do you want to do that as part of get request or a post request I want to do that as part of post request okay so what's the next step the next step is to actually you know create a table tag and then within the table we need uh, headers you know select name gender and email so let's create a table first so table and let's set a border for table and then within the table we need table head and within table head we need a table row and within the table row we need four table heads select name gender and email so table head so let's make four copies of this so in the first table head we want this text select next name gender and finally email okay so next after the table head is displayed what we need we need table row as part of table body so let's go ahead and include table body and within the table body we should display each employee now if you remember we have created an editor template which is capable of displaying the checkbox control name of the employee the gender and the email so we're gonna make use of this editor template okay so within this table body I'm simply going to say at HTML dot editor form model since the model I mean this since this editor template name matches with the type name so the type name here that's the class name is employee and the editor template name is employee so when we say editor form model you know this view is going to make use of that template to render each employee like this okay so now let's go ahead and specify a span tag um, a div tag here and set the style attribute So let's set font family to Arial. All right. So with all these changes, let's build the solution and let's navigate to the index view.
So now the index view should list the employees um, with checkboxes next to each one of them. And finally, we forgot to do this. We need, you know, look at this. We need a button control to post the form. So let's go ahead and include that as well. So after the table, we need a button control. Input type is equal to submit and the value on that should be equal to delete selected employees. Alright, let's save this and let's go ahead and refresh this view. So now we should get the delete button as well. Look at this, let's select two of the employees. Click delete selected employees and look at that, they get deleted. Let's quickly check that in the database, look at that, those are gone. Okay, now in our next video, we'll actually discuss having another checkbox here on the header. And then if I select that checkbox, all the row checkboxes should be selected. And if I deselect that, you know, the rest of the checkboxes should be automatically deselected. We'll discuss that in our next video session. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.